Okay guys, in this tutorial, how to fix uh, your PC ran into the problem and needs to be restarted. The error code is like something like PFN list corrupt. So the PFN list corrupt is the, it's an error. It's a stop code and it says that my PC needs to be restarted. And it turns into the problem. So if you guys are getting the error like this, you're going to follow the different uh, number of steps in this tutorial. One of the other steps will definitely help you. I guess so. In case if it helps you, you're going to share this video with your friends and family. Go to source and type update. Here you have check for updates. Click on it or you're going to type check for updates straightly. So when you type check for updates, you're going to see this window. What you're going to do is you can download and install the updates or you can just check for the updates. It will check for all the necessary updates. Finally, you can see it is downloading and installing and then after you can restart your PC. Do not forget to restart for the changes to take effect. So this will fix your issue. It's a, some, uh, you can see this one is completed manually. Just download and install. If any options over here, it is a manually to download and install, you have to download and install manually and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So this should fix your issue. Okay guys, you're going to type the command sfc space slash scan now. It needs to be together and press enter again. So it will take some time, uh, let it to complete 100% and you're all done. Okay guys, you can sit down with the 100%. Now just exit it. Okay, let me exit it and press enter again. Finally, we just uh, give a restart to your PC and check if uh, it fixes your issue. Okay guys, you're gonna run this command uh, without any spelling mistake. So you can even run this command from a advanced mode. Currently you can see it is in a administrator command prompt. So you can run this command even from X drive in an advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Access the command prompt from an advanced mode and then you can run this command. Press enter key. You can see so everything is okay. And here it is. It's a boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volume. Okay, guys, this is another command you're gonna run. You can run this command also from uh, advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Press enter key. So, guys, you got I got a uh, error 87. So, some spe uh, some spelling mistakes. There's no uh, okay. Some spelling mistake. So in case of uh, restore, I have a scan health and everything is okay. I just put the space in between and then I'm going to press uh, enter key. Now you can see it's working. So you're going to use this command instead of first one. First one really do not work. So it's just going to take some time and it will be done. So you can run this command uh, from uh, advanced mode also if you cannot log in into your PC so if you have a loop problem you can run it from advanced mode it's X drive just keep some time and it will be done So if you do not proceed ahead, just uh, hit enter key and it will start working. So you can see uh, it's done with a 39-41%. So you can see 100% the operation completed successfully. Now you're going to exit it. And then I have to give a one restart to your computer. And then I have to check if the issue is fixed. Okay guys, sometime the new update. Recently we made a new update and new update will be causing the problem. 
go to the source and you're going to type update and security you're going to type so update and okay windows update settings so go to the windows update settings inside here you have update history in our update history you're going to see over here just come down and here you have uninstall updates and you can just uh, select uh, the recently made any uh, all these uh, updates were made very recently select any update that has been uh, that was made very recently and that has caused the problem so you have mentioned according to the date so at what date your pc was working fine and what is the recent update you have made so if any recently made update is causing the problems so you're gonna uninstall that particular update so very easy way to uninstall the update So after uninstalling the update, in order to, uh, for the changes to take effect, uh, you need to rest, uh, restart your PC. You can see restart your required. Now you're going to restart your PC and the problem should be fixed. Okay guys, hold the Windows key and R in your keyboard. It will open this round dialog box. You're going to type the command. It's MD, yes chd dot exe so this is the command that you're going to type it's mds ched dot exe and then click on ok it will come up with another box it's a dialog box windows memory diagnostic so we're gonna diagnose the memory so you can restart now and check for the problems even you have a second option if you would like to choose first any reason so I'll go with the first options. Restart now and check for the problems. So it will restart your PC and start checking. So it is diagnostic tool for memory. So wait till it get completed. You can see guys it's down with one now it's two of two so 50 percent is done now 50 percent test is remaining
Okay guys, you can see finally done. Once it is done, it will restart your computer. So I have this fixer issue. You're going to choose command prompt and click on that. You're going to choose the user account. So you might be having a multiple number of user in your computer. So you're going to choose the user. Make sure you have a administrator privilege to the user. Enter the password if you have password for your account and click on continue. And now here you have a command prompt. Okay guys, I hope command is visible. It will locate the bad sector and recover some of the files that is readable. So guys, you just have to press enter key after you type it correctly. Now you can see it is going on, everything is in process. Just keep some time. Doing this might take a pretty long time. So just keep some time. Finally, once you're done, you're gonna press exit. So if it asks you for the, any kinds of permission in your computer, like yes or no, you're gonna type Y for yes, and then press enter key. So finally, it's all done. You're gonna exit it. And now restart your computer. Troubleshoot. In the troubleshoot, again, you have advanced option. Inside advanced option, again, you need to come back to the command prompt and then you're going to choose command prompt and click on it. So guys, you have to type all the commands correctly without any spelling mistake. Okay guys, I hope command is visible or you can watch it in a full screen. So you can see, even I've left the command in the pinned post, it's a comment section down below. B -O -O T R E C dot E X E slash rebuild B C D and guys you're gonna press enter key. So this might take some time. Finally, once you're done, you're gonna type the second command. Okay, guys, this is the second command you need to type. Boot R E C dot E X E space slash fix MBR click on enter okay now the third command and the last command that you need to type bootrick dot exe slash fix boot fix boot press enter key some kinds of access denied so sometime you get the message like this so type all these commands correctly and maybe in your case access is not denied in my case is access denied two commands work successfully third command access denied so anyway you're going to type all these three commands correctly and then finally you just have to exit it exit the command prompt turn off your pc and then start your PC again, or just directly, you're gonna restart your computer. Create a system restore point, or you're gonna type as it is, create a system restore point. You can follow these steps for Windows 10 and Windows 11. You can restore the system. You can click on system restore, click on next, and here you have a system restore point you have created. You can click on next and follow this wizard to restore system to this particular state click on finish click on yes now my system will be restored at this particular point again so this is the procedure how do you create a system restore point and how do you again restore your system to that particular date so what you can do is uh, if you are really while working on daily basis on your pc you are doing different kinds of tasks and you are installing different types of applications what you can do is you can come to this wizard and you can create a restore point every day. Later on, suppose any day we are getting any kinds of a 
uh, problem in your PC, you can still come one day back into your PC and you can access all your important files and you can start working. Or you can create a restore points on every week. So number every week, if you create a restore point and you can give the date on a name, so you can recognize it. So every day, uh, sorry, every week, restore point will be there in your PC. So you can restore your PC again back to any state or any date later on. So you can see my system is being restored. So you can see it's going to take uh, some time and you have to just uh, walk around and come back. I've successfully restored and here it is. So even I have a message over here that system, system restore completed successfully. The system has been restored to this particular point and 8, 19, 23 and even date. The document has not been affected. So none of the document has been affected.